Alrighty, well hello there. We finally have a clearing up here in northeastern Ohio. Well, partially. <laughs> but there's reports of a whole bunch of sunspots up there, so I wanted to take a look at them. Oh, by the way, we're on the Nikon P1000 camera. I'm probably going to have to sell this camera, but anyway, let's put the filters on so we can go up and take a look. That tiny dot <laughs> is our sun. There we are at about a thousand millimeters. And there we are at about 2200. Yeah, there's a whole mess of them over there. 3,000 times 1.6 and 3,000 times 4. And it's so hard to see out here to double check the focus, but battery exhausted. Drat. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm back. I had a failed attempt with a Nikon P1000 because <laughs> The battery was exhausted, so I didn't have time to mess around with it and get it in focus, so the only other thing I could do was uh, put two teleconverters on the Tamron 70 to 200 to get us the same length. So here we are at 600 millimeters and times 5 and times 10. So that should put us at 12,000, the same as the uh, Nikon. They're not coming in as nice as I would like. I thought they'd come in sharper and clearer, but they're really not. It is so hard to get a focus when you're at such an extreme focal length here. And there is a whole mess of them up there, isn't there? <laughs> wow. It's been quite a while since we were able to capture some sunspots. And the filters I'm using is uh, what I'm told is not recommended, but I'm using two ND filters for 16 stops of light. Anyway, quite cool. That should uh, about do it. Now for those that are unaware, I can't get the solar flares and prominences with the setup I have here. That takes an H-alpha telescope, of which I don't have. But anyway, that should wrap it up. So, hope you all have a great new week ahead here. Y'all take care. It is now 12.27 a.m. up here. P.M. <laughs> I'll get it right. Bye now. Laverne, come on, honey. Come over here. Come on. Come on, girl.